I gave you guys your instruction in the dressing room. I expect a clean, fair fight start to finish. Good luck. I see Lomachenko trying to remind Nakatani and the fans why he is who we've always said that he was. A pound for pound fighter, a great fighter, a guy who was a great amateur who's trying to close out his career as a great professional. But he's gonna have to get inside of that long reach. Nakatani has a four inch height advantage, five and a half inch reach advantage. So we want to see what Loma has left physically and also mentally. And with that advantage, Nakatani is going right to the jab. There's Loma getting to the inside, and he came with the straight left hand when he did. Oh, great angle, and the left hand lands. That's when he's at his best, when he is able to create angles. Loma's coming out more aggressive than we usually see him. Oh, right hand down the middle as Loma attempted two jabs to move in. Nakatani has a lot of confidence in that right hand. He left again from the former champ. It's going to be about patience for Loma. You know, a matter of time. Oh, Protect yourself at all times. There was a clash of heads. The referee did not come in, and Loma fired off a punch. Forehand of Loma's bleeding. So a gash opens up with a minute left here in round one on that clash of heads. And it looks like it's well above the eye. Blood streaming down the center of Lomachenko's face. And you can see right away that blood has infuriated Nakatani. He's becoming more aggressive now. All that stuff, all that blood's coming down, Tess. Lomachenko has a superb veteran cut man in Russ Amber. There it is. Southpaw versus Orthodox. This happens. Both their power hands lined up on the same side. You see the slot change right there from Lomachenko. And you see how smart, I would say smart, Nakatani was by dropping levels with Lomachenko. Heads colliding together. It's center of his head right on the hairline. Good head movement and then coming back with the left hand. That quick and he was able to get inside where Nakatani couldn't punch and he was able to graze Nakatani with an overhand left. Ooh, there it is. He's able to get to the inside against the much taller fighter. Combination scores from Loma. Loma's game is everything that he does before he punches. Indirect movements. And Dre, we've discussed it through the years in many of the Loma fights that we've broadcast. How exhausting it can be for the opponent, even if he's not throwing because of that. It, you're absolutely right. But Nakatani needs to start pushing Lomachenko back. He can't be in the front row of the Lomachenko show. Heard that Loma chant go up a few times already here at Virgin Hotels. There's a short right hand on the inside from Lomachenko that scored. Loma beats your mind before he beats your body. And that's what's happening right now. One of the areas Nakatani. that Loma is avoiding right now is the body. He needs to hit the body of Nakatani. Slow him down. Woo. Nice shot right there. That left hand is open all night long. Range and then come with the attack. There's the angle that we're so used to seeing. He often does it when he triple jabs. There he is in the triangle stance right there laterally. What does he do? Slipped out. That's one of those points that I told you about. Boom. Slip. Got on the angle on the side of his opposition. Nice left hand right there. Nakatani was pulling straight back, trying to get away from the onslaught of Lomachenko. Round three, CompuBox has Lomachenko with a 13 to three connected panic. Well, you know, anything near the bone, you know, it bleeds a lot. It's not that Nakatani is not tough. It's just that the computer system and the processing speed of Loma is a lot faster. Oh. 
it may take Nakatani four, five, six rounds to even begin to process what Loma is doing. But at that point, Loma may be up five or six rounds. This is a guy that naturally is really a featherweight, a 126-pounder that just has enjoyed the challenges. Oh, there's a left hand, a lead left that does damage there. He's the smaller man, but he says, my boxing IQ, my skill, that computer system that you know, Dre, can overcome the size differential. Chases him straight back with a three-punch combination. That's why he's one of the most exciting fighters to watch today. You can try to get a big right hand off. No, you're going to come back out to see with me where you are you basically have no answer pick him up pick him up pick him up Ruiz warns Nakatani for that right hand that strayed low they will touch them up here minutes ago in round three even that move right there Loma got yeah. to the side of Nakatani didn't punch but it unnerved Nakatani and it took win from him looked like it was the punch that could have been placed with the move that you described then he came back to it I like what Nakatani's doing right now he's attacking the body of Lomachenko. Masterful stuff. Doubled up the left hand. That is being ruled a slip. We wondered if we would see vintage Lomachenko. Purpose-minded Lomachenko. Angular Lomachenko. This is how you negate a long reach. You find where you want to be. You get to the side of the long hand that everybody's talking about, the big reach advantage. Just like this, Loma said, okay, let me see, let me see. You brought that down low, boom. Get to the side where you cannot counter, and I'm going to land my shot, and you're not going to be able to land yours. I'm the shorter arm man. How did that happen? Round four, and Nakatani has only landed 10% of his total punches thrown against the very elusive and great footwork from Lomachenko. Lomachenko. Watch Loma right here. He doesn't see what he wants to see just yet. So he's fainting. He's going to the left. Yep. He's going to the right. Puts the right jab out up. No, I don't see anything yet. Let me bend down. Oh, I could have had that. Oh, I get that jab. Oh, ooh, right hand. Right hand from Nakatani. See that body work right Wait. there no, no. from Nakatani. You can see Loma trying to pull his body away, lifting his feet up off the canvas. Nice move right there from Lomachenko, but didn't make Nakatani pay. Nakatani trying to hold on. Where is he? He's to my left. He's to my right. Just a tough situation that Nakatani's in right now. Nakatani tried to go underneath with the right hand. Loma comes back with two punches, then steps right to him. Ole! <laughs> nice move right there. It's a body control Actually, move right there rush. from Lomachenko. Pushing Nakatani into the corner. Misses with the right hand. He's got to buy that lottery ticket, though. Body shot left hand to the body from Loma. That jab is just coming out at one speed. That's when he decided to let it go. Not sure what he needs to do at this moment. Good body work right there from Nakatani. I told you, Lomachenko does not like getting hit down to the body. End of four, the return of Loma, eight months removed from when he lost his three belts to that guy's son, Teofimo Lopez Sr., the trainer of the undisputed lightweight champion, is sitting ringside tonight to see Loma. Loma is seeking the rematch. There are a lot of folks out there that were thinking that Teofimo would not go that direction, but now we hear right from Teofimo Sr. Yes, we will give him the rematch, but it has to be the next fight after the mandatory defense because as has long been expected, Teofimo Lopez not long for the 135-pound division. Pressuring guys coming behind his jab and throwing his long right hand, trying to beat a counterpuncher, trying to time Lomachenko on the way in. Well, speaking of that, he wasn't a nerve when you have the common opponent of Teofimo Lopez, and Lopez didn't look that great that night. He wasn't showing off his impressive firepower that we've been so used to seeing from the undisputed champ. Not enough body work from Lomachenko Watch your head. tonight. Watch your head. Watch Not your head. enough body work. Four punches to the body landed. And Nakatani's making a big mistake being a spectator to the Lomachenko show and let his hands go and start to push Loma back and rip shots to the body like you said, Tim, and bring those shots back to the head. 
That right hand was blocked. Nearly a clash of heads again. We had that in the first round that opened up that cut. Not a hold it from Nakatani. Won't let you hold him. And it's always on your left side or your right side. Just nice. like that. Up jab, comes around to the right side, lands the left hand. Some blood coming from the nose of Nakatani. It's no fun, fellas, when you get hit flush like that nope. and you can't get anything in return. And that angle sends him back and down. Knockdown scored by Loma. Don't go to his pace. Stick with your pace. Use a lot of paint. If you, if you faint, he tends to be cautious. So the knockdown scored in round five. 54% landed. That is excellent accuracy on power punches from Lomachenko. 34-63. Nakatani can't fight in the inside. His transition game is terrible. So every time he shoots a jab out there, Loma is following that jab with his offense. That's how he's getting inside. How's right hand, right kind of straight down the middle from Nakatani. So interestingly, to that point, Tim, Ooh. beyond those long jabs. Ooh, that and that's where shot. work has been done. There was even a left uppercut on the inside, and he hurt him. Lomachenko has hurt him here in round six. Left hand snaps his head back. Chopping right hand. He's right in the kitchen against Nakatani. This time Loma's not giving his hand. Oh, what a shot that was. Nakatani stood up to it. Big left hand snapped it back, and Nakatani's sitting there on the inside with Loma. Yep, Nakatani's tough, but it's the skill of Lomachenko. I told you folks at home. He just ate another big left hand. He's sitting there in the center of the ring, and now he's firing off one-twos. Oh, now he's going to figure out a way to get back in the inside and do it all over again. There's blood around the right eye of Nakatani. There's blood coming from his nose and his mouth as well. I need him to play that right now. Long-range right hand from Nakatani. Big round from Lomachenko. Big, big six round from Loma. Vintage Loma. Yes, it is to do this. All the work he put in the first couple of rounds allowed him to be right up close against Nakatani. Nakatani can't hurt Loma right there. He literally has no reach advantage at this range in the fight. And you see Loma hey, Doc. battering oh, Doc, Nakatani, taking full advantage well, of Nakatani point, having okay. no inside game, not being physically stronger than the smaller man. And Loma is doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. And the commission, after that sixth round, where Nakatani was clearly hurt, has now asked Nobu, the translator, to stay in that position. So they are going to be monitoring Nakatani. I just spoke with Sendai Tanaka, who is the trainer of Masayoshi Nakatani. I asked him about the eye because it was broken twice already, the orbital bone. And he said, look, he's fine. He can see. It's just a little swollen. Ah, nice angle right there. Nakatani tried to dip to the left and land a body shot. That's an alpha move from Loma, and he's basically letting Nakatani know that you're not safe in any area in this ring. That has been proven. Like that, closing the gap and coming up with that left hand. Fit feints and the hand feints Loma does and the slot changes and the head movement. That's unnerving as well. So many times fighters have good hands. Good body shot right there from Loma. Yeah, doubled up the jab, then went with the left hand to the body. Remember when his father pulled him out of the gym and said, you can't fight again because for the next few years, you're going to do Ukrainian <laughs> national dance. Yes. It's all coming together tonight. Ooh, that that Stop. right eye Stop. Right. of Nakatani does not look well at all. That right eye now, just in this round alone in the last 30 seconds, 
has swollen significantly, and that is the right eye. And there's a jab and two left hands, and here comes Loma again. But that's the right eye where the orbital fractures were. Loma's on fire. I mean, Loma's accuracy right now is unbelievable. He's landing an astounding 57% of his power punches. The jab, the slip, the left hand. Upper head movement also. We talk so much about the footwork, but the upper body movement defensively. So impressive. I've hit Nakatani so much to the head that he forgot to protect his body. I'm looking to try to get a good, a big body shot in there to try to end the night and go home early. He forgot, Dre. If you don't perform well, you don't make excuses. You show up in the ring and you prove to the whole world that you still got it. And Loma's doing that right now. He avenged his loss twice by beating the guy twice. He lost to Salido, comes back and he beats Gary Russell Jr. Wins the world title. He started faster this time, he's stronger. And the footwork is there. We're seeing vintage Lomachenko. Now, he has a right shoulder that's surgically repaired and that he can trust. I was worried about the shoulder. I thought I would have to save it. I didn't think I could get through things with it. The Nakatani is simple math. You're getting hit when you don't throw the right hand and you just pose in front of Lomachenko. So why not throw the right hand? You landed a few of them, uppercuts, overhand right, straight right. And if you get hit, at least you tried to land in the process. May as well. Give yourself a chance to Lead land left. a shot. Again, and so accurate. And then he shoe shines and then comes upstairs. Nakatani is one tough cookie. Stop. Loma lands a big body shot with that left hand. It's going to be hard for Nakatani to recover from that. Yes, toughness could be a part of skill. You can be tough, but skill is what matters inside that ring. Yes, you can be tough as well. Yeah, the, the punch that Makatani's missing is the left hook. He's missing a left hook. He doesn't have a left hook. We know he has a right hand, though. Yeah. And he needs to throw it. Well, he's got a problem opposite him. A week ago, we saw Naoya Inoue, who is right there. Top the pound-for-pound pound list. Many have him top three in the world. And now a guy who had been number one. Vasily Lomachenko. Looking to regain his status, trying to secure a rematch with Tiafimo Lopez. Tiafimo Lopez Sr., father and trainer of the undisputed lightweight champion, said, we will do the rematch. Yes, it has to come next after our mandatory defense against Cambosis, though. And everybody well, would again, love to see that. The answer for Lomachenko to go home early is the left body. to the body. body. Straight, right, Ooh. or maybe a right hook. Hmm. Straight right to the body. Oh. Looping left to the body. Nakatani is hurt. Can he finish him? He's trying to hold on against Loma. Nakatani is damaged. Remember, he went down in the fifth. He was hurt badly in the sixth. And now here in the ninth, can he survive? That right eye looks a bit close to me from Nakatani. And more work right there from Loma Chang. He's off balance. Let's see Loma close the show. Can he do it right here? Short work on the inside. Oh! straight left and Nakatani just wraps him up look at his face damaged battered bruised there's the left to the body That's how the is one. Nakatani standing up to this too tough for his own good Lomachenko body work sweeping left hand it is over Loma is back vintage form the silly Lomachenko they are loving it here too They've been chanting Loma all night long, and he delivers in Vegas. 18 power punches landed against Nakatani, and that finishes it. He landed a significant body shot you didn't see right there that hurt Nakatani. And just the follow-up combinations, taking angles, punishing blows, power shots, coming from Lomachenko, just showing his greatness once again, people. You got to understand, this guy, Lomachenko, is a legend in the sport. You can't be the fastest to win a world championship. You can't be the fastest.
fastest to win a double world championship. And you can't be fastest be one of the fastest. Referee Celestino Ruiz calls a stop to this bout at 1 minute 48 seconds of round number 9. Declaring your winner by technical knockout, Vasily Loma Lomachenko! Vasily Lomachenko, 15th win of his career, 11th knockout in the statement he wanted to make.